This month was hellacious. Bad, 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 bad. But it's over and we made it out alive. I don't know how. Hey guys, it's Wendy Valencia. If you are new to my channel, this is my husband Mauricio. And this is my daughter Melina, who's six. We are currently on a debt-free journey, trying to pay off $250,000 plus worth of debt. I used to say in under three years, it's going to be way more than three years. So we'll just accept it and move on. <laughs> this month I am continuing on. Well, this month is actually December, but in November I started doing like a side by side comparison, start, middle and end of the budget. And I really enjoyed doing it because it really, one, it helped me figure out where I was overspending and two, I think it makes for an easier for you guys to understand. So let me go ahead and talk about this month's budget, last month's budget, a budget, something. Let's, what is a budget? I don't know, because apparently I don't follow one. I think I follow a budget, but I don't. It, it's not a thing for me, apparently. But anyway. So first things first is the utilities category. And every month we have the same two expenses, um, our cell phones at 188.84 and our storage unit at 270. And those never change. And, and we're always spot on with those. Now in transportation, you will see that we spent 68.47 on gas instead of the $30 we had budgeted. And the reason for that is we bought one tank of gas for our car and then we also bought a tank of gas for my dad's car. The reason we did that is because I spent quite a bit of time driving that car this month and we took it on a fairly long little excursion out running around. And so we went ahead and filled that up and it was like 40 something dollars to fill that car up. Gas is expensive. I'm loving my hybrid, loving it. And we finally got the oil changed in the car for $48.17. That is done and it should be a really, really, really long time before we have to get the oil changed again because Mauricio just isn't driving like he used to. And you know, our to and from works are all electric, so we're not even using the oil. So we'll probably have to change it like every six months just for general, you know, good car maintenance. And then I talked about in the mid month, the ex inspection for our hybrid vehicle at $16. And the insurance and tax, we had no changes whatsoever in the budget, which I mean is pretty standard because it's insurance and tax. Now, I did talk about in the mid-month, and if you didn't catch that uh, video, I'll go ahead and link that up in the eye in the sky. But in the mid-month budget, I did talk about a tax debacle that we've got going on. And it is still coming. It's the end of the month, and it hasn't hit yet. So it's going to be in December, and probably by mid-month in September. September, yeah. By next year, I should know. <laughs> probably by the mid-month in December, I will have my head fully wrapped around that tax nightmare that is going to happen for us. So, and that will be impacting our, not our Christmas budget, but our January budget, because we're going to be pulling that extra paycheck to cover some of those expenses. So that is what it is. So other than the unexpected tax debacle in insurance and tax, we have our standard insurance, the USAA insurance, which does not cross every dollar because it is taken directly out of my paycheck. The CMFG insurance, which is $12. The USAA life insurance for me, which also is taken directly out of my paycheck. Mauricio's life insurance, which is $35.83. And then you are going to see the annual personal property taxes disappear come January because of a spreadsheet that I made, which I will probably do a whole video on. So as you can see in the Molina category, we had quite a few changes to the budget. We had the before and after care, which is $5.90, which it is every month. Um, Melina did not use school bucks, so we did not put any money in. We ended up taking it out before the budget even started. 
um, the Molina miscellaneous school expenses, we only ended up having $8 for that. And um, that was just something that they had at school that we needed to send in a, a small check for. And then Melina had her book fair and we had, um, when we redid the budget, we ended up putting $30 in and I ended up just pulling it out in cash out of the grocery money. And the reason we opted to do that was because I wanted her to have the flexibility to pick out whatever books she wanted and we wouldn't have to worry about a check or paying for them online so i just gave her cash for those and then we had school pictures for 55 at 59 and they are super super cute and so i'm really pleased with it i'll be able to send them to her grandparents down in columbia when um we have some guests coming for christmas from columbia and so we'll send a few things back with them and that'll be nice for them one of the things that I decided to do recently is I have done a whole uh, spreadsheet of expenses we have every month and then expenses that only come up like once or twice a year. And so when I budget with my calendar, I can write the expenses on the calendar every month. And so when we go to do our monthly budget, if somebody's birthday is coming up, we know about it. And I went ahead and put the school pictures on there for the November budget the annual November budget because I'm assuming this is going to be the way it is every November from now on so I think it'll be beneficial for me to have that and in our cash envelopes I will be doing a video on Wednesday with our cash envelopes and I'll talk about how much I had left in each envelope but we um we did really well with the cash envelopes this month I about midway through I was starting to panic a little with the grocery budget but we ended up being okay I find if I go to the grocery store less frequently that I actually do a lot better with the grocery budget so um I try and go twice a month if I can have it. And I've got some questions about dinners. I, this $250 covers us for breakfasts and lunches and some dinners, not a lot of dinners, but some. So again, when we end up leaving, you're gonna see that this, this grocery budget is gonna go way up. So on Wednesday, make sure you check out my cash envelope so you can, ooh, huh? I'm getting sexy on here. So on Wednesday, make sure you check out my cash envelopes uh, video so you can see how we did in the end. Recurring annual fees, you can see, got significantly smaller and all that is is me creating that database or spreadsheet. So the annual expenses like Amazon Prime and all of that um, that come up every year will not have to be in my every dollar budget every month so I won't forget them. So you will notice that iTunes was 99 cents over and I have no idea why. I'm sure Mauricio bought something and I haven't asked him yet. The Skype was weird this month. We got a $17.95 charge. Normally they auto charge us $25 when our account runs low, um, but we got a $17.59 charge and I, it just shows up as a charge. It doesn't say anything about an auto charge. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. Mauricio has an email into them, but they have not responded as of yet. And in my YouTube category, this is where everything starts going to hell in a handbasket. Um, TubeBuddy was the same. Back, please. What happened this month is, remember last month I mentioned I had a few PayPal charges on my account that I could not explain. Well, they ended up locking down my PayPal account. And I have many things drafted out of PayPal automatically every month. And unfortunately, what ended up happening is with those drafts, they didn't go through. Not a big deal most of the time. Like the Backblaze, you know, it just stalled and it wouldn't back up my data until we got the PayPal account fixed. But, but what ended up happening, Morning Fame, I ended up switching over to a debit card. With the Umi Downloader, I mentioned it in my video last week, and I'll link that up in the eye in the sky if you didn't see it. But basically what ended up happening is as I was reconnecting, I noticed that there was a better plan now and I was paying $9.99 a month and that if I paid $39.99 there was a permanent fix and I was super excited about that because that means um, I would download it once at $39.99 and I would have unlimited access for life and so I of course opted for that because I've already paid $39.99 
over the course of time and I didn't want to pay that much more. You know, I was paying over $100 annually. So yeah, I'm going to pay $40 and, and get it done. The bad one is PicMonkey. PicMonkey this month converted over so that all of their plans increased and they had no more free plan. Now I had a pay plan and I used it all the time and I really, really liked their pay plan. But what ended up happening is that with their paid plan, um, it was super cheap, relatively speaking, and none of their new plans were the same price as the old plans. So I opted for an annual plan. And I think in the mid month, I said it was $42. It was not 42. That was something else. And I'll go over that in a few minutes. But um, it was $99.99 for an annual plan for PicMonkey. So I paid for it annually, but I will tell you, come next year, I might be looking for another option because I don't want to pay $99.99 every year when maybe I can use Photoshop or something like that. But I don't know. I'm, I'm a big fan of PicMonkey. I really like it. And I have all my templates set up in there and I don't know that I want to convert over from the templates yet. I did get... Um, a, a screen mirroring thing. So if you notice, every once in a while I look down over here. That is because I am watching myself on my computer screen so I can actually use the 4K video camera back here in the back of my camera as opposed to the one I was using previously, which is a 1080p. So I am super excited to be back in 4K. I used to be in 4K when I was using my GoPro, but for whatever reason, that 4K and this 4K are totally different. It, it's not the same quality. And then I'm sure there's some tech reason for it, but I am not that person. I cannot tell you what that is. So, and as I mentioned previously, we did go ahead and get our mailbox for three months. And then I also have that $5 super chat, which I talked about in the mid month. Oh, medical. So I have been having eye issues. I think they're going to end up being allergy related, but I went to my primary care to try and get a prescription. And I think what it is, is I have allergies and at this time of the year, they get bad and I need to fix it. But my doctor, after paying, you know, a copay and whatever, they basically said, okay, use allergy eye drops. And if that doesn't work, you need to go to see an ophthalmologist. And they're not really working. I'm having a heck of a time with my contacts. I touch my eyes all the time now because they, see, I'm doing it right now just because I'm talking about it. But they hurt a lot. But we are getting vision. We haven't had vision care historically. Um, we had it before we moved down to Mexico, but vision and dental were a waste in Mexico because nothing was covered down there. And I would try and file and they wouldn't pay me. So we canceled both of those plans when we moved because I had learned that from living overseas several times before that. So um, we, for whatever reason, we we never got vision and uh, dental. And as you know, we got dental with Mauricio when he got his new job. But we are going to cancel Mauricio's dental and get vision and dental through my job because there are significantly better plans. So we're going to go ahead and do that in January. So I'm probably going to try and avoid going to the eye doctor until then. In our medical category, we ended up spending $389.68. That was ugly. So the $22 I had in there for parking for Mauricio, we did not use. And in our sinking funds, we put the same $725 in there that we always put. And so one of these days, we're going to probably up them, but not, not until we have our our big loan paid off. That's our first goal. And then we'll start being more realistic with our expenses. But sinking funds this year for Christmas, they are saving us. I was able to transfer the money we had for our sinking funds in towards the end of November. So I was able to take advantage of some of the uh, Black Friday and Cyber Monday sales. We got several things that you'll see in a few for Melina, for, um, for Christmas, and for Elf on the Shelf gifts because Sprinkles, our elf on the shelf, comes every year and she brings presents. 
And the category that we love to love, <laughs> Amazon. I am stoked about becoming an Amazon affiliate. Um, so if you haven't checked out my page, go ahead and click on the link. And basically what I've decided to do is that things that I love in there, I'm gonna put on there and I try and put in comments. And if I buy something that maybe I don't love, love it, I'll put that in there too. And so I'll do a combination of like things I have in my cart and things that I bought that I would recommend. And it's, there's no real organization system to it. So you'll have to read if you hover over the comment, um, it's like a talk bubble. If you hover over that, it my comment will pop up and it'll tell you what I think about anything or maybe what I use something for. Most of the stuff on this that I bought this month will be on there. So I had several office supply things that I got and it looks like I'm gonna get reimbursed for those. So that is a bonus. I did buy that sweater I talked about in the mid-month budget update for Melina and that was six dollars and 98 cents can't go wrong with a seven dollar sweater and then i bought spray bottles for melina's american girl doll hair and i kept one for myself and i gotta tell you i am in love with these spray bottles you get two bottles for seven dollars and 36 cents and they put out this ultra fine mist it they're fantastic and the reason i ended up getting them is because they're actually the way they're made is the grip is smaller. So I thought they'd be really good for Melina's hands. And it is. And it's a super easy grip. And they don't leak. And I am in love with these bottles. So if you need a spray bottle, maybe if you make your own cleaning solution or something like that, these are excellent. I really, really, really recommend them. And I will definitely put those on my Amazon page. So if you click that link down below. And then Mauricio wears a silicone wedding ring and um, it, he started doing that when he was working for Amazon Flex because he was carrying boxes all the time and the metal ring was kind of a pain and and uncomfortable to carry heavy boxes. So he started wearing a silicone ring and he lost it. And I'm sure it's somewhere in this house, but we couldn't find it. So we went ahead and got him another one because that boy ain't going around without a wedding ring on. I don't need anybody thinking he's single. <laughs> he's mine and he's my giant pain in the butt. And nobody else should be forced to have to deal with him. <laughs> uh, I'm kidding. And then I got two adorable sweaters on AliExpress for Melina and I feel like maybe one of these days I should do a whole video on AliExpress. If that interests you, leave me a comment down below. I really like AliExpress, but it is a buyer beware website. I mean, everything is coming from China and it takes a long time to get there, but the prices are great. I got Melina two sweaters to use in the winter time and we will see how they turn out. They were super cute in the pictures, but they haven't gotten here yet. So she will be getting those from mom and dad for Christmas. Sometimes the AliExpress stuff isn't worth it. But I have noticed, I will tell you that on Amazon, a lot of their clothes are from AliExpress. It, and they're more expensive on Amazon than they are on AliExpress. So you can find the exact same thing on both websites and it's much, much cheaper on AliExpress. But returning is a problem. Again, buyer beware. So and then we spent a, another $38.37 at Amazon for Elf on the Shelf pajamas because you got to have the pajamas if you're going to have the Elf on the Shelf. And that's going to be day one gift from Sprinkles the Elf. And then a couple of little gifts that we are getting for Melina. The last thing on the list was $36.48 for some little mini African violets and potting soil. And what it was is six tiny African violet plants with flowers for um, $20 and then $13 for, for African violet potting soil. And then I took those to work and I put them in this big, long, narrow pot that I have that I love. And I'll link those all in my Amazon page so you can click on them if you are interested. I was a little concerned about the violets coming in um, in the winter or in the fall when it's so cold outside, but they did great. They came very well packed and 
they were a little dried up, but I watered them and they, they did great. And before you freak out that 36, 48, I had saved up my blow money and I ended up depositing $40 of my blow money into the bank account. So that is actually a wash, but because it crossed our every dollar account, I am telling you about it. So we were way over in Amazon. That was we ended up spending $239.79, but before you freak out, it actually was not that bad because $40 of, dollars of that I deposited back with cash. And then several of those things were Christmas presents that come out of the Christmas budgets. I think in reality, we were maybe only $15 or $20 over, which for us is amazing. So then in the cushion category, we had some interesting things come up this month some good some bad the first one i talked to, to you about in the mid-month we sponsored my nephews for uh twenty dollars and then there was a dollar processing fee for each one of them for a total of 42 dollars. and we one night for movie night we rented the emoji movie from redbox although for whatever reason that has never crossed my account um, in the next day or so, I'm going to look and make sure that it went through my, um, actually went through my checking account. I think every once in a while, every dollar has a little glitch and it had a little glitch this month. And so sometimes you get duplicates and sometimes it misses things. It's very rare, but sometimes it does happen. So the next one I am super, super, super excited about. As I mentioned before, we are having one of Mauricio's childhood friends is coming to stay with us for Christmas and he and his wife will be here and we are going to take them to the National Cathedral for Christmas Eve church service. We love, 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 love the big organ music and choirs and candlelight services and that is what the national cathedral does i am super excited about going i mean super excited i've always wanted to go and i think it's just going to be awesome and then as you all know from the mid-month i hit a pothole and that ended up being 792 dollars and 47 cents and i will not bore you with the details yeah that was a bad horrible day horrible day. And then Mauricio had to take an Uber. It was a whole car switching around thing. So he had to take an Uber and that was $7.83. So he did that um, on that day from the scene of the pothole to get back home. And then we here in Northern Virginia, getting pictures with Santa at the mall is a nightmare. And we really like to go to the Santa at Tyson's Corner. We absolutely love him. He's just a legit Santa. But I don't want to have to wait in line for three, four hours and maybe not get pictures with him. So every year at beginning of November, they make reservations that you can schedule a time and you have your picture, schedule your time to come in, and then you only have to wait between, you know, 20 and 30 minutes to get your pictures taken. And so we have started doing that, and basically all you are doing is you're buying a package ahead of time. If we wait in line for four hours, we're still gonna spend the 42.39 that we've prepaid for, so it's just a prepay thing, that's it. So yeah, we're gonna do that. And I did put that in the spreadsheet to remind me to put that in the budget next year in November. And then I told you I had the eye issue that I'm going to have to see the ophthalmologist about. And I had to buy eye drops and those were $11.99. So this month we paid $7,073.26 to debt. And it was over $7,000. And I was so excited for that. And I will be going over our debt payments every month specifically. Um, so keep an eye out for that. And I actually talked about this debt, where everything went and where, how we spent that money. And I will link that video up in the eye in the sky. So you can check that out if you would like to know exactly where that $7,000 went. So in November, it looks like we were a total of $350.26 over budget. But again, a lot of that is Christmas and it came from a whole other pot that got deposited in my account. So were we really that over? No. Did we have a few expenses? Yes. We weren't as bad as I thought we were. So 
that's it. We're done. It's been like, I don't even know. Let me look. 47 minutes recording this bad boy. Be happy you don't have to watch. Imagine all of the stuff I have taken out. So, ciao for now. If you are new to my channel, make sure you click on my big laughing face to subscribe and I will put up two videos so you can keep on watching. This video right here is my latest one and this one is one YouTube picked out just for you. I'll see you in the next one. See ya.